Good afternoon from Gallenberg, Tennessee. It's Ryan. In today's video, I'm going to go out for a walk with you guys to check out how crowded downtown Gatlinburg is and try to stop by Dollywood to check out how long the lines are. I needed to get out to burn some of the Christmas cookies I recently ate, so I figured I'd go for a walk and you can walk along with me from the comfort and warmth of your home and check out what's going on in Gatlinburg right now. This guy's avoiding the crowds downtown and is just enjoying some fly fishing right now. He said he did catch a pretty good sized trout, so there's an alternative for you. You can just come out here and fish the stream. Lots of people heading in right now, but the BMW is not going anywhere. It looks like here at Parton's Deli. There's a Gatlinburg trolley up ahead. When I was driving in from Pigeon Forge, I did notice traffic started to back up at the Gatlinburg Welcome Center. There were a lot of people waiting in line to get on the trolley. So that is an alternative, but you're still gonna have to wait through the traffic like everybody else on the trolley. The right lane worked out pretty good. Everybody was trying to get into the Gatlinburg bypass and was able to park at Herbert Holt Park. I'll actually be highlighting Herbert Holt Park on an upcoming What's New for January video. Let's see Hillbilly Golf here is closed down for the rest of the year. It will open back up in the spring, but they'll use the off season to do some maintenance on the course. We've made it to the top of the city parking garage. Just to give you a look at the traffic coming in and going out of downtown Gatlinburg. I'm not quite sure if it's raining or snowing at this moment. It's a little bit of a mixture of both. Maybe by the time we get to Dollywood, it could possibly be full on snowing. I guess we'll see. Let's go for a walk and check out the crowds on the street, starting with Anakista over here to the left. There are a lot of people trying to get up to the top of Anakista. Hi. Let's go see how long the line is. This is actually the line to get tickets. So to get tickets won't take you that long. It's the line to get up top is what's gonna take you a while on this very busy day. The Chandala line says 90 minutes to get up top. The Ridge Rambler says 60 minutes to get up top. So I would be taking the Ridge Rambler. I don't see a line outside of Ripley's Aquarium of the Smokies. That can hold quite a number of people and is a great option for a cold day. This cop over here is controlling traffic. Kudos to that guy. That is a cold, lonely job as we cross the street. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Let's see if we can work our way up to the village. Let's see how busy it is at the moment. We've got some people waiting in line for the pancake pantry. All right, let's go for a quick walk in here. See how busy it is. It looks like the line for the donut fryer is out the door around the corner. Yeah, it looks like the donut fryer is in demand on this chilly Friday afternoon. Other than the line at the donut fryer, it's actually not too bad back here in the village to come escape a little bit from the crowds. And I don't care how cold or crowded it is, watching this thing's like a moth to the flame. It just draws me in. Let's sit here and watch this forever. I came up to the top of Jason Aldean's rooftop patio so you could get a look from above down at the crowds here in Gatlinburg. No one's up on the patio right now, but you could go inside and listen to some live music. escape the cold and go up and listen to some live music, watch a sports game, you can do that up at uh, Jason Aldean's. Look at that. It's a sea of people. That's what we're about to walk through right here. Fanny's is smelling extra good today on this very cold day. But again, got to burn off the holiday cookies. Keep walking, keep walking. Let's keep working our way up towards the Sky Park to see how long the line is there. Lots of people headed into Old Smoky Candy Kitchen. The line is surprisingly much shorter for the Sky Park than Anakista. 
So if you're trying to get tickets to the Sky Park, you could get them pretty quickly here at their new building. Let's keep working our way up ahead and see if there's any live music going on at Old Smoky Tennessee Moonshine. So there's no live music at the moment. They're on a break, but lots of people sitting back here enjoying these heaters at the moment. I will say, as beautiful as this Christmas tree is, it does kind of bottleneck this entrance and exit here at the holler. Between skiing, snowboarding, snow tubing, there's lots to do at Ober. Let's go see how long it takes to get up top. So here is the back of the line to get tickets to go up to the top of Ober. This is where you would purchase your tickets right here. I thought I'd just give you a tip too. If you don't wanna wait in this line, you can purchase them on your phone. Just have your barcode for the tickets you've purchased out and then you can get in this line over here. Once you get your ticket, you're gonna to get to the back of this line, which is going to be about an hour and a half wait to get up to the top of Ober Mountain. So I'd highly recommend if you wanna to go to the top, get here as early as you can. This little mountain scene is so cute. It's $185, but it's 50% off. So you could always come in here and do some shopping while someone in your party waits in line for you. So I'm gonna work my way back to the car at Herbert Holt Park and see if I can work over towards Dollywood so we can go for a quick walk in there. But you can see traffic is just inching along of people coming out of the National Park trying to work their way through Gatlinburg right now. If I were trying to get back to Pigeon Forge, I would definitely take the Gatlinburg bypass to not have to drive through downtown right now. So we've made it into Dollywood. I had a little bit of traffic from Gatlinburg into Pigeon Forge, but made it into the park, found a parking spot. I'm just over 13,000 steps. So I'm gonna do a quick loop around the park. So let's check out some of the ride times and crowd levels here at Dollywood before I head home. I was here yesterday and it actually looks not as crowded as it was. The line to the bakery wrapped all the way around the building to this door. But here is the back of the line to get into the bakery right now. So not as bad as it was on a Thursday afternoon here on a Friday evening, a little bit after 6 p.m. So let's walk up ahead here and check out the times for the rides at the moment. So here is a look at your ride wait times for Friday, December 29th at about 6.30 in the evening. Here's a look at the ride wait times yesterday afternoon. So much better for a Friday night. There's no one in line to come get a Christmas toasty sandwich, which was one of our favorite Christmas festival treats. I can hear the Smoky Mountain string band playing around the corner. Let's go listen to some highlights. One last look at the grist mill. I can see the line for cinnamon bread just outside the door. So not too bad right now compared to how it was yesterday afternoon. As the Smoky Mountain String Band was singing, Christmas time is coming. It has officially come and gone, but Dollywood will continue to celebrate Christmas through January 6th when they close down for the season. But what a difference a day makes. I just walked through here yesterday and it was packed with people in this area. I'm genuinely surprised how empty it is right now, given it's a Friday night before New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. Currently, there's only a five minute wait to get on Blazing Fury. When I was here yesterday afternoon, it was 30 minutes and the line was way out it's almost the bathrooms over here to the right. But we're almost to 15,000 steps, so let's keep walking. Well, it's not actually snowing, but I guess this is plan B. We are gonna get some snow at Dollywood. Yay! Merry Christmas. On 
unfortunately, Big Bear Mountain has closed for the day due to temperatures. So if you are wanting to ride Big Bear Mountain, I would definitely do it earlier in the day when it is warmer as you risk the possibility of it closing down to being too cold. The same goes for Dragonflyer as it too is currently closed with it being too cold. But let's work our way back to the car. So the downside is some of the roller coasters are closed down, but the crowd levels are actually fantastic on this Friday night. Great for a train ride or just come and walk through the lights and enjoy the low crowd levels. I do see Wild Eagle is still running but Mystery Mine has also fell victim to being too cold to operate right now. I'll put a link down in the description of this video showing you what the temperature needs to be for all the different rides to operate. We have officially hit 15,000 steps. I'm gonna head back home and hang out with Bree and the kids, but I hope you've enjoyed coming with me to downtown Gatlinburg and Dollywood. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next adventure.